Welcome everybody. My name is Camilla. I want to say a very big thank you to everybody in advance who will be helping us with translation work in the future. Your input is absolutely invaluable and deeply appreciated. This video is on how to install the VLC media player. We will need this software in conjunction with subtitle edit software. The good news is, is that both software are for free and they also are made available online for you to install. The only thing that I need to mention is if you have a Mac computer, please get back in touch with the person who asked you if you would like to do translation uh, work and they will notify you of any alternatives because the subtitle edit software is not compatible with Mac computers. Now what we do first is we go to www.videolan.org forward slash VLC forward slash and if I scroll down to the bottom we have official downloads of VLC media player made available for different types of systems so just select the one that's appropriate for you. Mine is um, set for Windows this is what the video site looks like at this point in time and the version made available is version 2.0.8 we click on the download VLC button it navigates to another page with a countdown and my alert messages appear at the bottom of the screen it's quite possible that yours may appear in the center and that's fine it's the same thing it reads, do you want to run or save VLC from ftp.sunet.se? The answer is yes, so I will click run. Another alert message appears reading, the publisher of VLC couldn't be verified. Are you sure you want to run the program? The answer is yes, so I will click run. This next message, which is an alert message, you won't see on the video. It comes from an internal source, from my user account control panel. And the alert message reads, this file is from an untrusted location. Are you sure you want to run it? It's quite possible you will get the same message. And the answer is yes, so I'll click on yes. By the way, the only reason why I get that message is because I haven't programmed my computer to recognize this particular website as being safe yet. Okay, another little prompt box appears with about the installer language and it reads, please select a language. By default, mine is set to English, which suits me fine. But if you want to change the language, click on the arrow and a little drop box menu appears and select the language of your choice. For instance, you might want to select Svenska or you might want to select Swarmy. But I want English. Click OK. The setup wizard appears. I won't read all of this. You can pause it and read it for yourself. It basically is requesting that we close all running applications before installing it. Click Next. The license agreement. Now, after reading through all of this over a cup of coffee or two, click Next. Choose Components. By default, all these will be ticked and that's how we want them. Click on Next. Choose Install Location. By default, the computer has chosen this to be the destination folder, and that suits me fine. Click on Install. Now we've got the progress meter running. And soon enough, a black DOS window will appear, and that's fine, it's supposed to. So don't do anything, don't close it, just let it be, and the computer will take care of it. The good news is it's a very speedy installation process, which is good. Now, Setup Wizard has the last prompt screen appearing for us and it's got Run VLC Media Player ticked, which is what I want. If you want to read more information about the VLC Media Player, just simply click this box next to Show Read Me 
and it will open a text file with all the information for you. Now we click finish. Presto! Here's the, a miniature version of Media Player and also the last prompt box which I have here appearing in Swedish and it reads Policy for Integrity and Network Access. And the modifications that we can make are located at the bottom. There are two checkboxes. I want them to remain ticked and they are Allow Retrieval of Media Information and the last one is allow search for VLC updates, which is very handy. I'm happy with that, so I will click save and continue. And that's it. Now that was easy. By the way, just let, I will let you know about our YouTube channel, which is titled Translation Aids. Check back to this channel every now and then, and you will notice that we will add more videos over time namely instructional videos on how to run the software. Thank you very much and just go to the next video if you want some more help. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.